3. Project Stakeholder In the previous slides we talked about stakeholders. Let us talk in this question about how to correctly describe what a stakeholder actually is. The question is, which of the following statements is a correct description of stakeholder? Option A. Stakeholders are people who receive benefits from the project. So it says that they only receive benefits from the project. Option B says stakeholders include only individuals that have an interest in the project. Option C says stakeholders can hinder the progress of the project. So stakeholders are able to hinder not only to affect it in a positive way. Or option D says active members of the project are not considered as stakeholders. So the active members are not considered as stakeholders. So the question is about which of the fo following statements is correct. Keep in mind that these four options are not describing the full description of what a stakeholder is. The question is simply asking which one is the correct one. So in this section what we're going to do is we're going to uh, analyse each of the options and see which one is most likely to be the answer. So let us begin then by looking at each of the options. First of all we can say for sure that stakeholders are individuals or corporations that have an interest in the project. We know that for sure, that the stakeholders have to have an interest in the project. That's given. Now it also says that the stakeholders are individuals or corporations and this could be key in answering or in fact choosing between the options. Let us begin with option A. Stakeholders include not only the individuals and the corporations that receive benefits from the project, so this is what was given in the question. The question said, uh, option A said that the stakeholders benefit from the project, but also the individuals and the corporations can be affected negatively by the project, and this is the key point. Of course, stakeholders do not always only benefit. If things go wrong, they can also be affected negatively, and quite often they are. So that rules, that rules answer A out, so we know that this can't be the correct answer. Answer B, stakeholders include not only individuals, but also corporations that have an interest in the project. And we know this from the definition, uh, so that we know that option B is also wrong. Option B said that stakeholders are only individuals that have an interest in the project. They can also be corporations. Option C. Stakeholders can hinder the progress of the project depending on their personal interests and their organisational interests. This is absolutely true. Stakeholders have a say in what happens and because of that they can absolutely hinder the progress of the pro project. Which means that C seems to be a correct answer. Just to finish it off, if we have a look at D, uh, as part of the project the members participating can also be included as stakeholders they can be included. So this is, the, this is the important thing. The members participating can also be included as stakeholders, which means that option D, which said that uh, members that are participating, the active members, cannot be stakeholders, is wrong. So the only correct answer is answer C. So the answer is option C, because we know that the stakeholders have a say in the organisation and interests of, of the project and that means that they can absolutely affect the progress in a negative way. They can affect it in a positive way, but they can also affect it in a negative way. It all depends on their personal interests and their organisational interests. 
So we know that the answer is option C, 